Greetings, I'm Brian from RC Workboat Haven. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can make your own single and double blocks for your boat models. These blocks are made of wood and the sheaths inside actually turn. I'll take you through step by step how to construct these blocks for your boat model. Thanks for watching. The tugboat has four single blocks. The Great Lakes Lumber Hooker has 13 single blocks and two double blocks. The trawler has eight single blocks and two double blocks. The schooner has 21 single blocks and six double blocks. This is a Canadian or U.S. penny. It gives you some idea of the size of these blocks. It's only when you work with these little blocks that you realize how small they actually are. There's 20 single blocks inside this one ounce shot glass. So how strong are these tiny blocks? Well, let's find out. Here I've got the trawler suspended by a tripod. So the trawler weighs in at 10 pounds. I've replaced those S hooks with a single pulley that I just picked at random. I have it suspended on wire and this boat is fully suspended. There she is, exactly 10 pounds. So that shows you how strong the construction is of these little blocks. The parts required are craft sticks, usually made of birch, bamboo skewers, and bamboo toothpicks. You also need to find nylon sheaths. These are available on eBay and I'll leave a search description. So here's a tabletop view of the supplies we need. This is a standard birch craft stick. It measures 9.3 millimeters wide and about 2 millimeters thick, about 4 inches long. These are bamboo skewers, also available from the dollar store. The cross section on this is about 3 millimeters by four millimeters. Standard toothpicks are approximately two millimeters in diameter. This is a cheek piece that's used on both the single and the double blocks. We're calling this part A. These small nylon sheaves come with about a one millimeter hole. After it's drilled out to 2.5 millimeters, it'll fit nicely over a toothpick. This little part is called part D, and it's a section cut from a bam bamboo skewer. This is the centerpiece of the double block. This is called part C. The little sheave inside turns easily. And here's a double block. Little sheaths inside that turn perfectly. So let's go to the first step here so that we can make about 50 blocks for the next project. <laughs> the first step will be to drill the end holes in a few craft sticks. Just take a look at the radius on the end of the craft stick and approximate the center. Looking at the plan in the background, from the center of this hole measure in 11 millimeters and make a line. From the center of the other hole measure in 12.5 millimeters and make a mark and then measure in 18 millimeters from the center of the hole and make another mark. 
I've made two here that are pretty well identical. So now I'm going to go back to the uh, drill press and I'm going to drill a hole here and here. And I'll be right back. I've labeled A, C, and I've written sample on here. So you'll be able to hang on to that if you ever make any future blocks. Only this one, we're going to cut off the two ends on that line. So I like to use these, uh, well, I guess they're conduit uh, shears, and they make a really nice job on the cut. So we'll cut that off here, and we'll cut the other end off here. This is A. I'll just lightly sand the ends. I don't want to remove too much material. So now I've taken a toothpick, and I've cut it in half, and I've just rounded the ends a little bit. So we're going to put this piece C over top of the sample. And we're going to push the toothpick in until it's flush with this side. We're going to take part A and and do the same thing. So just straighten them up a little bit. Make sure everything's fairly good. It's not critical. Now put a drop of CA glue right on the top. Just like that. And on the other side. So now we have two little jigs that we can use to really speed up the work here. So we pick up a craft stick that has two holes drilled in it at the end. Pick up part A, put it through the hole, and mark it. Turn it around, put it in the hole, and mark it. We pick up Part C, put it in the hole, mark the length, and make a mark for the second hole. Turn it around, mark the length, and make a mark for the second hole. So now the idea is to go ahead and make as many cheek pieces and as many centers as possible. The more the, the more the merrier because now that you've got your jig that you can save and use again in the future, while we're doing it, you might as well make a whole batch. So now I'll go and drill the second hole in each part of part C. We're not going to cut these craft sticks now. We're going to use them as handles to make the blocks. So now take part A and cut them off with shears. Don't worry if there's a slightly raggy edge on the cut. It won't make any difference to this method. So let's move on here to the bamboo skewer. Now the skewer is going to be used for the eye in the single lock. We're going to also use the skewer as a handle to make the blocks. So we have to mark the skewer on 11 millimeter centers and you can usually put about seven holes in this little skewer. It's a bit tricky to drill. You have to do it carefully, but it's easily done. And we'll be, we'll be drilling two millimeter holes. Now, in order to build a, a large quantity of uh, blocks, we don't want to have to carefully mark each one again. So we're going to use this one as a sample. Now we can take the sample and lay it on top of an unmarked bamboo skewer 
and just go along through the holes with a pencil and make a mark. So that's uh, pretty good. That would be a typical result here. So hold the skewer like this and take a look at the first two holes. Make a mark just by eye halfway between and go the same distance in front of the last hole. We're going to cut off the skewer at that point. I've made a small jig just from a, a rough piece of wood and you can fit the skewer right up against the edge and this gives you something to hold on to and accurately cut off the end. So now we have this. Now this end will be on the sheave side of the eye. So we're just going to get a bit of sandpaper and round it just a bit. So just like you made that one piece, go ahead and make up a bunch. So now let's take a look at the nylon or plastic sheaves that we're going to use. These are the trickiest little parts to handle in the whole plan. Get this uh, pair of wire strippers. You can hold them like that and then drill them out. And I'm just doing a double check on them. We have to cut some little toothpick shafts and that will be the shaft that we're going to use in the single block. I cut them a bit longer and that's good. We don't want them too short. I cut the shafts over a small pail and I just do it by eye like this. So let's assemble the first single block. First step, take your toothpick shaft, and push it into the hole. Place a pulley over the shaft. Put some super glue, just one dot right here. And move the bamboo stick onto that area, making sure that the hole clears the end of the wood. And just hold that for a few seconds. Now we have this. Here I'm just going to put a little drop of super glue on both sides. Put your finger over the shaft. Now take the first piece and just put a little a little spot of super glue over the shaft so it doesn't move. And now put a drop of super glue onto the top piece. So there it is. It's fairly easy to work when you can hold on to a stick. And then the final step is to get some cutters and just cut this end off like that. Give it a little bit of super glue right there. So now we have a good method. It's easier to lay out a number of pieces on a flat surface and then get one piece of side A and super glue the bamboo skewer onto that. Now place on the shafts and the sheaves. Next 
place on the other cheek piece and then super glue everything together. Here are the single blocks all super glued together. This method is very simple. Once you have samples you can use to speed up the work. And now one of the most fun jobs is being able to hold this block on a stick with a three-quarter inch circular sanding disc and watch how easy this is. And there it is. So now the single blocks have all been shaped. Time to cut them off. So make a mark halfway between the holes. This end will be used for the next single block. So let's round it off. And now it's ready. Pick up the single block. Just take, just take the edge off. So now I'll do that to the rest of them. What I'm doing is putting a tiny bit of CA glue on that surface right there and let some soak in to the end. So now let's prepare the final parts we need to make a double block. Using a bamboo skewer, we're going to cut nine millimeter sections from it that will form the little spacers down here between the center and the cheek pieces on that block. So we'll be cutting a bunch like this. Now we have to cut some toothpick shafts for the double blocks. That's about the right length, just a bit longer. The first step is to super glue on part D just inside of the hole. We're going to have to do that on both sides. So now the spacer is part D are glued onto these sticks. So here's the assembly sequence. Take part A, slide the shaft in, flush. Drop the sheave on. Push the side into about there.
drop on another sheave. Place the other side over. Put a drop of CA glue like that and one over here on the flush shaft. And here are 24 double locks ready for final sanding. That's not too bad there. The double blocks have now been shaped. Now find the mark you made with your part C jig. Cut them all off to the line. Now I'll take these back to the sanding drum and clean up the ends. So just like on the single blocks, I'm going to put a little bit of CA glue around the eye here to strengthen it up. Now I'm using a wood finish stain marker and I'm staining the blocks. And here are the blocks all stained up. So all four of the single blocks that you see in this picture can withstand a minimum of 10 pounds weight. But let's test it and see how much weight these little blocks actually can withstand. I've got this metal vise that I've used in the DIY videos. It's completely suspended and it weighs in at 25 pounds. So I guess you're thinking what I'm thinking. Here's the poly. Here's a 25 pound vise. And up here is the weight scale dial. It's supported by two beer cans on the bottom. So here's my plan. I'm going to pull out one can. See if it breaks at that point. If it doesn't, we focus in on the dial and see what it reads. Then I'll go and pull out the other can and see what we get total. Hopefully, if it breaks, which is very likely before 25 pounds, if it breaks, we could maybe in slow motion find out which point on the dial it broke at. So let's do it. I'm pulling out one can.
So there's the pulley. And there's the weight scale. Oh boy, we're almost at 25 pounds. Woo! Look at that. That tiny little block is holding up a 25 pound weight. Well, this DIY was a lot of fun. We've got single and double blocks. We've got patterns and samples for the next batch. And hopefully you found this video interesting. Please feel free to comment. And of course, you're welcome to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.